It is what it is, them PMC boys, and that's Monumental, Smith & Wesson, SplashMag.com, you see it. So you got the new album Monumental coming out real soon, which is a Smith & Wesson collab project with Pete Rock. So tell me who actually came out with the idea to do it with uh, Pete Rock. Um, well, we, we, we came up with the idea collectively, you know. We, uh, we wanted to do something big. We wanted to make it special, you know what I mean. It's our fifth album with Duck Down, celebrating 15 years of independence. So we just fig we figured, you know, we went down a list of, of top names that we thought, you know, we could reach out to and his name just kept popping up. We reached out to him and he was 100% with it and, you know, it was a blessing. Mm -hmm. So you guys remember when you first met Pete Rock back in the days? Oh, man. <laughs> Probably in D&D Studios, you know, when he was working with Nas and, and working with Primo and doing them things over there because we was the young homies. Um you know, coming up off of that and then having the opportunity to meet him and work with him when we was doing our, our, our second album, Rude Awakening, on Priority. So, you know, we just super fans of Pete and fans of the hip hop. So it's, you know, we always in, in each other's circles. You know? Okay. Um, Apart from the fact that Pete Rock produced the album entirely, what makes this album so special compared to other Smith & Wesson projects? Mm. Um, it's a little bit of everything beside, but that, that's a major part. We plays two heavyweight champions, Smith and Wesson and Pete Rock coming together. That's like a title fight people been waiting to see. So that's what makes it monumental. I'm not a murderer, just another prankster. Rule boy dead, cause I'm taught him was a gangster. Tried to live the life of a hood from the streets. That's the wrong trade, never been a true sleep. It's the rip of the eye, in the sky. You was up to my door and I wanna get high. With my friend, I'm on the You've got a real impressive guest list too on the album. Yeah. So a lot of people wanted to step on the project. Yeah, absolutely. That's something that's that's another thing that's different with this particular uh album. We uh we, we went in the whole we went in the circle, 360 degrees back home and we try to uh select individuals that we felt uh fit our our uh same, you know, vibe. You know, so it was more it, to us it's not like features, it's just like people we already had relationships with and we felt it was just cool to have them involved in a project as big as monumental. You know, that's why we got people like Hurricane G on there and we got people like Ray Korn on there. We didn't go for the uh, names that to sell our project. We went to the we went for the people that fit our vibe, you know what I mean? And it, so to so have a natural a natural feel to it. So, you know. A lot of them, a lot of them cats was a blessing. Like Black Rob, that was an unexpected us uh, uh, blessing. So you know. So he's also signed on Ducktown. Yeah, he's doing a project. Black Rob is doing a project he's right family. now. It's coming out on Ducktown. Okay. And how long did it take to record the album? Uh, uh, man, we worked for time. a little piece on that because everybody's schedule was so conflicting. We was moving around doing shows. Pete was doing shows and other projects. So. It actually took longer than we expected, but it came out beautiful. Yeah, man. It, and June 28th is great. Yeah, we, 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 it, 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 every moment that we worked on it was worth it. If we would have rushed it out, it wouldn't be what it is now. And I think it was, it was worth the, every, every second that we spent on it. Was Pete only responsible for the beats, or were you also discussing song concepts as a, as a trio? No, we made the album together as a unit. Each one talked to each other, went over lyrics with each other, went up, developed choruses together, came up with songs, titles, the arrangement of the album, whether the skit should be here, whether they were this person's voice, is the flow good? So now nah, he, he was a producer on the album. He was a, a member of Smith and & Wesson. And that's, how it, that's why it's, it's so great right now. 
Sam. Was it easier to record compared to other albums where you just chop beats or, or got, got beats? I don't, I don't I mean, think... I nah, mean, nothing made it easier. We're still blood, sweat, and tears, but we all professionals and we came together in this craft that we love. This is the life we live. It wasn't easier. It made the vibe. The vibe was easy. It was comfortable in the studio, everything was just falling in the place how I was. If the first idea didn't work, then we just move on. But it, it wasn't nothing that was actually really no easier to record or lay the verse or write to it. Hell no. Right. If anything, it was harder because you had to be sharp on it. Okay. So um, this is going to be uh, like a real hot summer for Duck Down with your album coming and the Random X album back to back. So uh, do you have anything planned, like a tour together? Well, we, we, to we got tours in the works right now. Like, we just finished uh, basically wrapping the album up. So, you know, we hit the road, we do a couple of spot dates. Um, Duck Down is working on putting some things together globally. And, you know, hopefully we can, you know, we'll just be a touch of town near you. You know what I mean? Okay. Yes, sir. And last question, what up with the bootcamp click? Is there any new album inside? Yeah, we're actually collecting shopping beats for that new bootcamp album right now. So, you're going to get to work on that in a half minute, too. Yep.